I put Mike Miller here. Now, this is a game called He Beat Her. It's like a visual novel, choose your own adventure kind of story, and apparently there's 42 different endings. Hmm. The court appointed you for another domestic abuse case. It's hopeless. Your client, accused of abuse, is going to be found guilty. It's a five minute afternoon break. Your client sits next to you. His ex sits across the aisle. Right after this break is the verdict. As you see, it's like so stylized. It's like it's just a living, a living book style story. We really see what's going on. It's interesting us being the defend, like being the person who's representing the defendant, the guy who's accused of doing the abuse. It's an interesting perspective. You're running out of time to defend him. Oh, sorry, I'm running out of time to defend him and I'm just sitting here talking absolute shite. I suppose we should get on with things. Is there any time for one more action? Type one action. Any action? Uh, what, I'm meant to just type anything? Uh, call. Uh. Oh, uh, how come I can't put any spaces in here? Uh, bathroom break! Oh, why not? Well, how am I meant to know what I'm meant to do here? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, that's a good idea. Think, talk, observe, grab. Now, 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 this is, this is a domestic abuse case. I don't think I should be grabbing anything or anybody, okay? Okay. Think? I ain't got time to think, do I? Talk? Oh. Ah, for a bit. I need to say the right thing. What should I discuss? Oh, for Pete's sake, this is interesting. I didn't think typing was a part of it. Um, what should I discuss? Um, witnesses? What do you mean that doesn't make sense? Makes complete sense. Uh, 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 evidence? Fah. Everything you would normally see in court. You list what you know. Okay, there we go. The client is being accused of emotional and physical abuse. Good God, he's on both sides of the horrible, horribleness. Last Friday at 9pm, a bloody knife was found in the couple's kitchen. The prosecutor has not disclosed their medical information. Out of all the facts of the case, these stand out to you. Whoa! Okay, we're going to like... Oh, the brakes up. Oh, damn it. Your client is found guilty. I'm given a jail sentence of a year. I didn't even get the chance to defend him, did I? Oh, that's... Wait, hang on. Objection! I want to do one of it. As you let out of the courtroom, you wonder. Really? How come? Okay. That was a bad start. Alright then. So now I guess you have to keep doing it over and over and picking up little extra bits and pieces so you can reuse them now. So this time I went and thought, let's discuss the knife. Because they didn't release the medical information, so the bloody knife didn't even say whose blood it was, or the injury itself, or anything like that. Didn't mention that she was injured. Maybe she stabbed him in self-defense, but maybe it wasn't self-defense. Maybe she's the crazy one. Completely possible. Ah, it's hot as hell. Why are you wearing that turtleneck? He's got a stab wound on his neck, he wick. I can see it. It's either a stab or one a hell of a hickey. Because I'm cold. I need the truth. If you want to stand a chance in this case, my friend. Because, you know, I've already seen you let down the dock for a year sentence once. Look. I have some scars on my arms. No big deal. Fell, fell on the stairs. That's all. Oh. 
Oh, it's the oldest excuse in the book. I think I've got you, Hook, Line, and Sinker. Oh, wait, no, I'm trying to help you, not send you down the dock. Right. Yeah, what's that scar on your neck? This? It's nothing. Just got in a street fight. Don't you know I'm badass? <laughs> totally badass. Ah, fine. You want the truth? Yes, if you don't want to go to bloody jail. She came out here one day with a knife. And I had to block her. And she headbutted me. Ow! Holy jeez! Ah! Who's gonna believe that? Worst part of it is. I still love her. This new story is valuable. But it's only spoken words. Might not hold up in court. Oh, I guess it still wasn't good enough. Oh, my client still didn't stand a chance. Well, okay then. His ex manages to get a restraining order against him. Well, restraining order's better than a year in jail, I guess. I'm getting slightly better. Okay, so how else? What else can I do? Um, Can I examine anything? What to examine? Ah, uh, the, um, what you call it? The brain doesn't work today! Let go edge now. Ah, uh, the accuser, there we go. She wears a summer dress, looking very innocent. In one hand, she clutches her phone tightly. In the other, she holds a huge purse. I'm gonna start making notes here. So she's got a phone. I don't think the huge purse is worth looking into, but the phone, if she's holding the phone tightly, is there some evidence on that phone? It breaks to an ends. She looks disgusted at your staring. Don't stab me! Don't, don't stab me! No, oh, actually, come on, come at me. Come and stab me with the, the, with the evidence. Come and stab me with the knife. And then we know you're the psycho. And not my poor defendant here. Just don't, not the face. Just don't stab me in the face. Oh yeah, okay. Plaintiff has flimsy evidence. Oh, so the judge deems your client innocent. You feel like justice has not been served, however. So this time he got off, but is there some way of flipping it around so that she actually ends up being the accused? Is that our target here? Do we have to get us thrown in the slammer? Is that what we need to do? I mean, all she's going to do now is just stalk him down the street and stab him in the back. I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm judging it too harshly. Okay, is there any way to examine... Can I examine her phone? The plaintiff seems very fond of her phone. It's very suspicious, you see, when I said she was holding the phone tightly. There could be some vital evidence on there. I mean, after that little altercation, did she just text her best mate? Lol, stabbed him in the neck. Feel like a girl's night out on the town. I mean... Hmm, something interesting there? Or someone interesting? Hmm, okay. Phones are a treasure trove of personal information. Not to say you don't respect privacy, but... When you had access to her phone. Oh, well, how the hell did you get access to it? No! Oh, grab! Grab was one of the options, do you remember? There! Uh -huh. Oh, God! <laughs> Getting up close and personal with her here. Hey, nice phone you got there. Get a little bit close, Mr. Defense Attorney. What are you doing? You weren't meant to be on this side of the courtroom as the jury watches on in bemusement, wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm known as a maverick. <laughs> Mind if I take a look? Um, what kind of question is that? No, sorry. Oh, well, hell, how the hell am I meant to... Asking her isn't going to work. If you really wanted to. Could distract her with something? 
Oh hell, how can I distract her? Distract her with... I don't know. What can I distract her with? Distract her with the, her own purse? Mission failure. Maybe your client can give some insight on distracting her. How? How the hell does that work? Breaks up. Close the case. Okay. We're getting closer though. I think I am getting closer to figuring this bizarro story out. Because I'm talking to my buddy here. My poor abused buddy. And I'm asking whether he was abused or did you abuse. That's quite blunt. I'm your freaking defense. I need to be blunt. How the hell else am I meant to get you out of here in one piece? Seriously. It's okay if you don't want to answer, except it isn't. Your whole trial depends on this serious single freaking point, man. I wasn't abused. That's shameful. Don't ask me that again. Please. God damn it, you were no freaking help. Oh. Talk to him about the form. What are your opinions on phones? That's a very interesting way of... Just... I mean, how... What? Uh, why didn't I say... So what's the deal with her and her phone then? That's what I should have said. Phones. I lost mine recently. Actually. But my girlfriend... Uh... My ex now, I guess. You guess? She stabbed you in the freaking neck, man. She's your ex, alright? Keep it that way. She'd always be on hers. It's easy to distract her from it. Just talk about sad things. Talk about sad things? Distract her with... <laughs> Mikey uses... Sadness. No. Ah, fucking hell. How do you do this? This is just talk. Okay, I'm sad. I can't believe I was trying to cast sadness on her. <laughs> Too many RPGs. Too many RPGs, Mikey. The plaintiff's purse is absolutely bulging. Probably has a personal info. You recall that she declined to reveal some of her personal info, which makes it hard for you to see this case in its entirety. Why her purse? Curiously. Ah, can I maybe get the purse involved? So I tried to grab a purse. I didn't think this was going to work. I tried to grab a purse, but then she was like, I don't even know you. And you're the defense person. But then I thought, could I try and convince her to give me the purse by being friendlier? So I started talking about her phone, and now it says her face lights up as she talks about her dearest friend. I really love her, and well, she loves me back. Told you she was texting her best mate about stabbing him the other day. I told you that's what she was... Me, I've got this weird psychic connection with game characters. Feels good, man. Or open to you, she lets you look at her purse. Because naturally, you would of course let the frickin' defense attorney look at your purse. What the hell? She's unique of brand of trusting, that's for sure. Beyond the everyday items, there are suspicious looking medication records. Oh yeah, because she would be that in front of everybody in the freaking court. I know they're on a break, but surely everyone's still kind of in the area. It's like, I'm just going to look at this medical record. Yeah, this looks great. Thanks very much. I'm just going to... Can I just go and grab a quick photocopy of this? Excellent. Thank you. They have your client's signature. As well as his... Is that security number or something? Social security? Which you do not memorize. Why? Huh. Could always use it. It gets banged up for you. We could use it for some nefarious methods. Uh, nefarious things, surely. You rummage further into her purse and find a ripped up prescription for bipolar medication. Oh, okay. Maybe we can use medication discussion as a way to distract her from her phone. Medication or bipolar. Wow, okay, that's kind of sad though. You know, that's, that's not a fun mental condition either, right? But still, if this guy's innocent, he should be proven as such. Okay. 
Time to go back in and try and get the phone this time. So this time we'll try and grab the phone again. Shut up! I'm gonna want the phone! Start with medication. Damn it! What should I grab? How about I grab the knife? I'm gonna. Oh, well, let me. Damn it! Ah, oh, yeah. I've messed about trying to get this forward for so long. I'm thinking, what other sad things can I mention? What other things? So now I finally just went back into the talk option and put sadness. And it's like, do you know what you're talking about? So I just typed sad. What's talk about? Sad. Uh, this came up. What's the saddest thing you and your ex thought about? Great conversation starter. Just trust me on this one. I've got a hunch. Some weird time loopy stuff going on here, okay? I've been through this scenario a million times and I think it's my destiny to get you out of this. I don't think I can leap until I get you out of this. Well, the saddest thing is probably our dog, Chrissy. Right. Dog. Done it. She died a few months ago. My ex has been weird since too. Weird like stabby weird, or weird like even weirder than that. I think I've got it this time. Let's... Ready. Grab. Bone. No. Dog. You approach her when no one's watching. That makes me sound like I should be getting locked up too. I should be sat next to my client in the dock and how we should have our own lawyer. Hey, might tell you about Chrissa. But she was a great companion. But she was a great pupper. Was she a cute little pupper? Huh? She smiles and launches into a long story about her dog. Really cute, like my boyfriend. Um. You've both left me. So sorry. She, she excuses herself to the bathroom. You're sure she's crying. Well, don't you just feel great about yourself after doing that? Isn't that just the loveliest thing you've done all day? Made the poor girl cry? The poor bipolar girl cry about her dead dog? Oh god, I feel terrible. <laughs> oh. She left behind her phone. You take it. Okay, now you're the most terrible person in the world. So, you want to have a few minutes to search through her messages and emails. What do you search for? I don't know what I'm searching for. Ah, no, what am I meant to be looking for? Ah, oh, for God's sake. Okay, I found evidence that she's bipolar on her phone. Worried text to friends? Oh gosh, I can't afford the medicine. It's okay, Bay. You don't need it. You're the sweetest girl I know. You don't need those stupid magic pills. You'll be fine. Is it, wait, is that a knife? Notes to herself? Oh gosh. One says, Dear Diary, My boyfriend said this diary thing would be good for me, so here goes. Today was really bad. The doc said I'm crazy. Well, bipolar. Same thing. I've ripped my bipolar prescription. There's no way I have bipolar. I'm not crazy. I can't be. I thought there was a ripped thing in the purse, so she ripped up her prescription. And that's what led to the shenanigans. Now oh, I just feel even more sorry for this the pair of them. Maybe they can patch things up. She just needs a meds. I destroyed the prescription, there's no way I'm bipolar. Yeah, okay, I just read all of that, thanks. You find something else in her chat logs. Oh, what's wrong? My boyfriend and I got into a bad argument. I'm so stressed after the diagnosis and maybe I said small, small thing bad, but he threw a plate then. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Look, here's what you're gonna do. Oh, I have evidence against 
my client. You also have evidence for your client. Uh, what will you do? Oh, the moral choices. Go against your client? No. Ah, with the newfound evidence, a restraining order is filed. Not against your client, but against his ex-girlfriend. But now I feel bad because she just needs her meds. She just didn't take her meds. Ah, oh, you promised to keep in touch with your client. What, like going for a beer and stuff? Did you recover the whole truth? I want to do this one more time and just go against my client. Just, just one, because I think that might be, that might just be everything you can do after that. So let's just do this one more time, and just to see which other little pathway we can go down here. This time I'm gonna go against my client, because apparently he threw a plate. Apparently he threw a plate first. Breaks up, you and your client lose the case. Oh, okay, is that all that happens? Oh, oh wait, okay, I thought it was gonna be some other little different, different path there, but there we go. So many ins and outs and intricacies. 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 But apparently, we only scratched the surface, really. If there's 42 endings, it depends what you would call an ending, I suppose. But whoa, there's so much to that. At the end of the day, it's like, who do you... I kind of feel sorry for both of them, in a way. He got stabbed by his girlfriend because she didn't take her bipolar medication. She said she couldn't afford it, so he signed off for it. Or she faked his signature to use his insurance to pay for it or something, but then she ripped up the subscription anyway. It's like a freaking soap opera. That was so interesting. I really liked that. I thought it was really good. This was, he beat her. It didn't look like he did. He just threw a plate and then she stabbed him. So, but still, a bit of a fractured relationship. <laughs> I'm going to pop a link in the description below so you guys and gals can go see if you can turf up some of these other endings that there's meant to be. Good luck with that one. I really encourage you to go and give it a try though. See if you can uncover some truths I was not previously privy to. I've been Mikey Bly and I hope you've enjoyed this. I also hope you have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, night. See you all next time around. Bye for now.